Call the commissioners meeting to order. Would everyone please stand. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and immediately the following moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. public meeting is being recorded and the video will be put on the county's YouTube channel in the near future. Since the last board meeting uh, on the 26th of December, the commissioners have not met in any executive session. Uh, on Monday we did, after the meeting, sign the TAN documents as was disclosed. I'm not aware of any correspondence worth uh, bringing to the public. Um, you'll note there's a letter on Pam's desk in support of the library. Or, that's for the um, right, the historical society um, to be signed. Uh, also, I did want to announce that um, also on Pam's desk we have a, an agreement with Forest County to uh, house their inmates. It's an annual agreement. Uh, it was passed through a public meeting in prison board. Um, so, from my perspective, it's ready to go. But you'll find that it's down there to sign with relative urgency since it is effective as of this past week. Anything else to bring before the public? No correspondence? All right. Is there any public comment? Mr. Atwood. Okay, you know what time of year it is, so that's what we're going to talk about first. Winterfest. Congratulations. You're Thank you. the new, new person on the block. I'm the new one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, you all know about Chapman State Park and the whatever you want to call it we went through for two and a half years. We're actually in it again because uh, now the people, they won't come to fish because they let it out and weren't going to be able to fish and keep them, you know, and that's already out there everywhere. There's a lot of, lot of little pitfalls that we're going to have to get through this year. But uh, what we want you to do, and uh, the rest of the public here, last year we, we had a polar bear plunge, and the captain put a lot of effort in it, and I put a lot of effort in it. And the captain plunged, and we had seven people. Now that is pretty sad when we've had 119. So somebody has to do a little work here. And if you three don't want to plunge, you could get a plunge team out of the courthouse and start from there and get a hold of Mr. Sittler because I've met with him twice and he said he would put out a plunge team if somebody else was challenged. So that's how you got to get it going. You got to get a little talk out there so it happens and so that uh, when the major or the captain goes back to the Salvation Army he has not a debt that he has a little bit of money to go through the rest of the winter but that that's my big biggest thing for this year because we don't know where we're going to be with snow so but if we can get a good plunge off and get Ice, people on the ice fishing or else if the ice isn't thick enough they're going to have to fish from the bank. But if we can get them two things off the ground then we'll get momentum going for next year. And uh, we're not going to have a big tent. We don't have hardly any money. Uh, you know how it is when things go down, they really go down. But uh, we need your help and we need your help through the, the community. And that's the, the main thing. Now, I've been in this for 40 years or better, and I know what are all the pitfalls are. And uh, our best years were when we had a rec director. Okay, you guys haven't had a rec director. Uh, both of you, there are rec directors that we had worked down in Marionville Prison. They stayed right with the game. And uh, it, 
at least we sent them somewhere, you know, they got a job off the deal. And the rec director, uh, I don't know who hired the guy that asked all the questions. He said he was working for the county. But the rec director can do all the little things that uh, somebody like us can't do. And, and he's, he's uh, accessible to all the things. The only other thing on recreation is we used to have an insurance system with the county. Now we have to go through Penn Soil. We run a full-blown winter fest. You have to pay 2000 bucks for insurance, and that's outrageous. There has to be a way that you can put a rider on a county insurance. So you're not insuring. We have to pay for it, and we can get insurance that way. Because uh, what we found on this insurance thing, we actually just uncovered this last year, half the people that were there had insurance and we were covering them with insurance. Like the Salvation Army, he has his own insurance. So we're covering him with insurance. Well, the guy told me from the insurance company, he said, <laughs> you know, that's going to be really sticky when something happens because he said, we've got two coverages going on, you know. Well, you're, you're real familiar with this stuff. Uh, and so a lot of things have to be ironed out, and we need somebody to help us iron them out. Penn Soil RC and D, Wes does a terrific job, but he can't do it all, you know. And, and that's where we got to go with Winterfest. Uh, I'm going to be 77 here in March, and I've been doing this for a long time, and I need some kind of help to, to make sure that I'm not spending my whole life doing Winterfest and the other activities. But uh, that, that's where we're going with it, and uh, if you guys can help, jump on, do what you can do, you know. But get a hold of Mr. Sittler and get the ball rolling so there's lots of buzz and get some teams so that when he shows up, he doesn't have to jump in there with six other guys, you know. And uh, the plunge, them, them guys that did show up, they're the loyal old ones that now, Al Fox, everybody knows Al Fox. Al isn't quite as old as I am, but he's getting there, you know. And that, that's, uh, that's saying something for people, you know. But Al, I know when we had a good one, we got about 15000 for the Salvation Army, and Al raised eight of it himself. And that's, that's pretty astronomical, you know. And the plunge, if you cover it right, and these guys do a good job, you know. If you cover it right, uh, we, could, we could get a lot better coverage than, than what we're getting, you know. I, I imagine that 119 was probably a Guinness Book of World Records, you know. Because I know all these other people copy our plunge. They get 15, 30 people was it, you know. But that's the one thing I want to discuss. And the other thing, I'll direct this at you. Uh, because I've been down this road here for about uh, 36, 37 years. I have an abandoned well on my property. Well, this abandoned well has caused me a lot of problems, and uh, I know you have to deal with DDP, so we won't go there very far. But I've been to these guys before. I, last year I stirred it up again with the governor's office, and I've never had so many people lie to me as I had that work for DEP. Now, Rich Neville, you may have had occurrences with him. Uh, Rich, he always was, was seemed like he was the fairest guy of all, you know, that, that he didn't lie to me. But he did, they had him do this big report for the governor. <laughs> it was 50% lies, you know. <laughs> And, and, and so you know now what I think of Rich Neville. But uh, what I'd like you to do, and you can do this on your own. You don't need to even get anybody else involved. Just talk to the boys in the business, you know. If they need a well plug, they, they figure out how to get it plugged, you know. And this well, we're not going to go into details on it today. You know, if you want to find out, you can call me. But uh, I think it's way overdue. I've been promised 
clear back since uh, Siffin was working for DEP, who was a, a real nice guy, I will say that. And uh, I've been promised since then to get it plugged. And they, they come, and the last time when I rattled the governor's office, he sent five guys over there, five guys from DEP. And the guy says, oh, this, this, this well can't be your problem. He said, it's too far from over there. And I said, well, how far is too far? He says, 500 feet. I said, well, you're right on. It's exactly 500 feet, you know. And they just give me a big line, and they were gone. I've never heard anything since. Does Pam have your contact information? Yep. So I'll, I'll touch base with her after the meeting. Yeah, and, and, you know, I don't want to make a big to-do about it as far as the, the commissioners or anything, but you're in the game, and, you know, I deal with all, you know, Columbia Gas with, with uh, the rest of them. And I'll even give you one of these. You can take this back to the work. Uh, I checked, and you were a sponsor before uh, for Winter Best. So you have been yeah. for quite a while, you know. And, you know, I realize this is business outside of commissioner business, but uh, that's how you get something done in this world, and you know that, and I know that. And that that's where we're all in, and uh, if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask, you know. Uh, I only have one uh, question. Uh, the insurance, I don't think it's appropriate that to be a rider on the county's insurance, unless it's a county event. That said, um, I know that the WCCBI has covered the insurance for many organizations, uh, events in Warren County previously, so perhaps uh, you could speak with Mr. Decker about, about that. Do we have to pay how much, you know, that's... I, I don't know. It may be a special rider because of jumping into a frozen water, but <laughs> um, it would be something you should talk to them about. Uh, and they are uh, our designated uh, uh, economic development organization, so uh, they... Uh, Related to like the biking and they, they do, which they does do. be pretty extensive. So, my assumption is, is the you know, frankly, their coverage would probably be better for them oh. than ours would almost definitely. Um, I believe it's a good idea when it comes to the uh, polar plunge. Mr. Eggleston has been the one who's done the polar plunge. So, if you wanted to spearhead something, uh, <laughs> feel free. Yeah, I would agree with Commissioner Kaplan that to speak with the WCCBI, they're, they're probably the best option for insurance. All right, any other public comment? Um, I will change something slightly rather than specifically asking for public comment before every vote. Uh, if you have something you'd like to say, please feel free to raise your hand um, and uh, I will acknowledge you. On the agenda today, we have various resolutions, one for the postponement of tax duplicates, one for the, the annual designation of the Industrial Development Organization, one to approve Scott Rose as our point of contact for the hazard mitigation plan, uh, repository bids, agreement with CYS and Ibanco for our CWIS uh, CAPS program, uh, basically their administrative software, and the agreement with Dominion uh, for additional voting machines. Thing that's missing from the agenda that you'd like to add at this time. Very good. You have the minutes from the December 26th meeting, which I reviewed and I think with my memory. I gave one slight uh, edit to Pam for the reorganizational meeting, um, namely that uh, I wish to, get, to convey whether I did it accurately or not, that I wanted to break the cycle of the top vote getter necessarily being the chair. Um, I was not saying that the board should or need to switch chairs periodically. Uh, so that was the only edit I had there. And then I and then I had a second edit that just had to do with that same section related to uh, I didn't endorse a specific um, form of chairmanship. Uh, I think in the minutes it stated that I that I had said that I support Actually, I said I was a worker that heard the body decided. And I have no clue who's pursuing 
good. Any other edits, comments, questions related to the minutes from December 26th or January 6th? The finance report I passed out in the general fund. We have 2.9 million. In the Erie Bank account, 450,000. <coughs> Projected balance is just shy of three million. And of course we've not drawn from the TAN yet. Any questions? My point of reference, by the way, at this date last year, the uh, general fund balance was 2.1, uh, 2.2. Thirty-six percent higher in the general fund than we were twelve months ago. <clears throat> There's no proclamations on the agenda, so at this time I would ask to approve the agenda of the minutes from December 26th and January 6th, as well as the finance report. We'll make the motion to do so. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Very good. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Opposed, likewise. Motion carries. There's no old business on the agenda. First item of business is resolution 3149, which is the postponement of tax duplicates. As you're well aware, we do this every year um, so that we can save on postage essentially by coinciding the uh, tax duplicates for the county and municipalities with the school districts. I ask for a motion to approve it. I'll make the motion to approve resolution 3149. I'll second. Motion made and second. Any discussion from the board? All those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Motion carries. Resolution 3150, designation of the Industrial Development Organization. As you're probably aware, the WCCBI has served as the county's uh, Industrial Development Organization for years. A couple of years ago, we realized that it was something that needed to be updated annually. Uh, so I'd ask for a motion to approve Resolution 3150 to do so. I'll make a motion to Resolution 3150. I'll second that motion. Motion made and seconded. Good chance. Right. <laughs> All those in favor of the motion, please state aye. 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 Opposed, likewise. Motion carries. Next, um, the county needs to identify a point of contact or an agent uh, for Warren County as it pertains to the hazard mitigation plan um, and hazard mitigations, period. And we have selected as I believe has previously been the case, Deputy Director of Emergency Management, Scott Rose. <clears throat> uh, personally, I know Scott's very much up to the task. Do I have a motion to approve Scott Rose? Sure. I will make the motion to approve Scott Rose. I'll second. Motion made and seconded to appoint Scott Rose as the hazard mitigation point of contact. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Motion carries. Repository bids. Today, there's only one. This is parcel number CY005311630000, currently owned by Chester Hayek in Columbus Township on Route 426 at an assessed value of 2470 It has been bid on by Lonnie Eastman for a bid amount of $905. Could I have a motion to approve the repository bid? Make a motion to approve the repository bid. I'll second that. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion from the board? All those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next is an agreement between the county, specifically Children and Youth and Family Services, um, with the Child Accounting Profile System. This is for our CWIS reporting. Basically, it's like the enterprise software system for CYS. Uh, directly with the bank, that is. Uh, we discussed, or excuse me, we did not, this was presented to us uh, just yesterday at the um, CYS meeting. Uh, so, very standard change. There's, there's actually no monetary change, uh, purely uh, allowing, I believe, the uh, updating of the system, which is something we do periodically. Do I have a motion to approve the agreement before us? Make a motion to approve the agreement. I'll second that. Motion.
motion made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor, please state aye. 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 The motion carries. Finally, we have a uh, proposal from Dominion Voting Systems to amend the um, agreement that we have with them to include, is it 20 more machines, I believe? Mm -hmm. To bring our total up to 86? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, as we do not have the language currently before us to actually vote on uh, to amend the Dominion agreement, what I'm asking for is an emotion, a motion to approve, uh, or excuse me, authorize Eric Kern uh, upon consultation with the solicitor to sign on our behalf uh, to up to a total of is it 3,500. We could just leave it. Just leave it blank. Yeah, I'd, I'd be willing to make a motion to allow Eric Kern and Daniel Schmidt. Negotiate a revised agreement to bring the county to 86 machines uh, and to be as fiscally prudent as possible with those. Just because of the, and so. Very good. I'll second that motion. Motion made and second in discussion. Um, so I, I have all the faith in the world in um, Attorney Schmidt and Eric Hearn to um, you know, negotiate the contract and move forward to get it done. Uh, the bottom line is, is that uh, I think that we've all acknowledged that the, the need for 86 machines is, is a major priority. Um, we've talked about going other directions, but uh, between um, some of the um, issues uh, with the elections director um, that, that, uh, you know, that, are, that are of personal nature and have you know, kind of been made a challenge time-wise, uh, and then also with the fact that the primary election is right around the corner, and that basically in order to get the machines for that, we have to make the decision now um, that I think that this is a really important um, project to undertake, and I'm sure that um, Mr. Hearn and Attorney Schmidt can handle it and with, with the utmost care as far as finances go. The urgency also has to do with the fact that they are starting to manufacture right now. They're putting in their order to, uh, to manufacture the machines in advance of the April primary. So if we don't get our order in in the next, frankly, few days, yep. uh, we could get missed. And that's that's why I'm asking to authorize uh, someone else to sign on our behalf rather than scheduling a special meeting or something. So just for clarity, our understanding is that the additional machines will be uh, roughly three thousand dollars each for the twenty in total, uh, and that that, uh, uh, that over the course of the contract, the lease uh, cost will be somewhere in the matter of an additional five thousand dollars a year. Very good. Any questions? Does this bring us to the number? Uh, I think it does. But yes. Confirm. The number of machines we had with the old machine. Yep. We previously had 86, this will be the exact same number. So everybody, like for instance, in Pine Grove, where they had, they were used to having four or five machines, they will have five. So any six. precinct that saw a cut won't see a cut. Yep. Okay, thank you. Anything else? I understand the motion to be to authorize Eric Kern to consult, uh, after consulting with Daniel Schmidt to <coughs> draft an amendment to the Dominion Agreement. Fit. All those in favor of that motion, please state aye. 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 Motion carries. Human Resources Report. <clears throat> there are no uh, promotions, demotions, or separations since the last time we met. In terms of new hires, Kyla Corbin was brought on to Human Services as a caseworker on the 16th of December at a rate of 15.66 an hour. Kenzie Ruger, on the same date, at the same agency, as a mental health caseworker at the same rate. Heather Leichtenberger, also on the same date, was brought on to the Sheriff's Office as a first security officer part-time at a rate of 13.15 an hour. Any corrections or amendments? I would ask for a motion to ratify the personnel transaction report. I'll make that motion. I will second. 
Motion made and seconded. Discussion? Just one question for my um, learning that. Uh, are these positions replacements or are they additions? It, it, well, so the caseworkers would be replacements. Okay. The security officer was a new position that is being offset by um, part-time sheriff's deputies. So the security officer doesn't have to have the same level of uh, training or certification, um, therefore is paid less than a sheriff's deputy, but still performing. So rather than having a sheriff's deputy, whether part-time or full-time, uh, sit at single point of entry, this is essentially relieving that deputy from doing that. Okay. Again, the chief grade. Sure. Indeed. Thank you. Any further? The motion was to ratify the personnel transaction report. Please state aye if you are in approval. Aye. aye. Motion carries. Any closing comments from the commissioners? Last chance for public comment. Very well. I would ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. I will second. All those in favor, please state aye. We are adjourned. Thank you.